<coughs> welcome, 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 my lovelies. I hope you are all well and settled and ready for another, hopefully, lovely video once it's all put together. There are many, many clips to this video which I have to edit, which I have not at this point. But when you watch the video, I will obviously have edited them by then. So, um, yes, so this video is the uh, all about the vases that I've been making, um, throwing on the wheel. Here is the wheel. Um, and drying, sanding, um, bisque firing, um, then glazing again, then firing again until the finished article so you so in this video basically you're going to see everything from the beginning to the end um the, the whole video i don't know how long it will be um but um in real life the video has taken or will have taken quite some days um, because you've got to let things dry bisque firing is all done overnight um the glazing then firing again um, the, the whole process takes quite a while so hopefully you'll enjoy this this broken down video um, of uh, how I create my vases from beginning to end um, I'm really really pleased with them so far um, I don't really know at this point how many I'll be doing um, but hopefully there's quite a lot um, and then at the end I'll have a quick chat about um, what has uh, happen by the end of it. I'm quite excited so I'm going to get on with it. I've actually not got a cup of tea or coffee in my hand but I do have um, clay all over my hands so um, I shall um, go and get another cup to keep me going and carry on um, making vases and uh, speak to you again at some point soon. Hope you enjoy everybody.
Okay, everybody. Um, <laughs> um, the reason I have a Cheshire grin, a Cheshire cat grin on my face is because um, the vases, nothing stuck to the kiln. 100% um, perfect. Um, John Boy came in just before I started filming. We took all the vases out so he could look at them one at a time. There was there's a whole load of them of his favourites that he just doesn't know what he likes best, and he thinks they're absolutely amazing. As do I. I am so so pleased with them. I cannot tell you. I just absolutely love them. Um, I want to make thousands more thousands. Um, and it's so that was this was just going to be the see you later part at the end of this video which which it still is um but i just wanted to go into what i'm i'm not going to show you them all up close now um but i'll tell you why in a moment um but why this the end of this video is slightly mixed it's because i've been putting one video on after another and i've been looking at all the comments from the video before the video before um was my um the, the miniature 144 scale miami beach house um and i've still got loads of comments to answer i've spent quite a few uh, uh, time last night answering some and this morning after uh, breakfast time answering some more i've still got more to answer hopefully i will get round to everybody the good thing i mean the the, the 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 good thing is there's more than more comments and it's taken me more than more time um to answer um so i'm not surprised some of these um big guys on here have um admin people working for them um i can fully understand that i, I can't actually do that <laughs> i don't have anyone here that i could um uh, do admin for me so i will just chug along and try and answer as many as possible as I always do. Um, but I did want to say, because I was so excited uh, reading some of the comments, I had to write this one down briefly, um, but this was um, uh, after talking about the i84 diner. Um, and um, I got one comment back from our, one of our family members, Marulio. Um, hi, Marulio. Um, absolutely fantastic. I mentioned it mentioned the i84 diner um where we'd been there um where we sat and i remembered it exactly even the building the way it was built and the doors at one corner and you go up a ramp into the door and then you go around to the left blah 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 and um she wrote back in more detail really but i'll just tell you quickly um that the i84 diner is in fishkill and as soon as she said fishkill upstate new york i knew it was upstate new york um but i remember as she said it yes it was fishkill um is owned by her nephew whose father had it built in the ninth, early 1970s do you know as i read that it just brought us so close together um i say this all the time on youtube and this is the main reason main reason i'm doing all this I'm starting to make a little bit of money, which is helping with my bills, which is a huge uh, bonus. But the, the main thing I'm getting from this at the moment is our togetherness as one family. And just reading the comment, it, it really gave me a lump in my throat um, because it's just so with all human beings together. And it was just it's just so loving. Um, but how close are we that her nephew owns it's owned by her nephew and her father had it built in the early 1970s um Marulio and her husband are native new yorkers and they live in seattle um now and um, but they went back there um last winter to celebrate their granddaughter's graduation from the cia which is the culinary institute of america how strange when i first read that because the cia here um isn't anything to do with cooking <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> um, I think it's the Central Intelligence uh, Agency. I don't know. Something something darker. <laughs> um, but yes, she graduated from that and they went to the I-84 in Fishkill. Um, and she's also said that if me and John Boy ever go there, which, oh God, I can't, I think 
I'd just go in there crying with excitement and then everyone would be looking at me wondering why that guy's crying over there. Aren't these English guys weird? They'd be saying. <laughs> but she said, if we ever go back, if we ever go there, John Boy and myself, um, to ask for George, um, which strangely enough, when we went there, me and my previous partner, um, the uh, uncle and aunt that we went with um, are called Verna, Aunt Verna and Uncle George. Da -da. Um, but to go there and ask for George and tell him his Aunt Marulio is a family friend of my channel um, and uh, see how we get on. I would absolutely love to do something like that. I can't ever imagine having the, the funds anymore to go anywhere nice, but who knows? And yes, some of us care. Um, so, and other comments as well, so I, I need to um, get back to you all. Um, but believe me, I am trying to make time to do all this, which is fantastic. Um, as I said, I'm not showing you the, these properly, the result of these uh, at the end of this video. Aww. But um, I decided that instead of doing that now, um, I have planned another live stream. Yay! So um, I'm also going to combine it with the, uh, the winner of the uh, name for the Art Deco Gallery um, that the London guys have. Um, I wanted some really cool name that I hadn't thought of. Um, so that's still ongoing. Anyone that wants to comment uh, uh, name suggestions for the gallery, keep going, that's fine. Um, but um, I said it would be at the end of July, um, but because I have all this ready now, I still have to work out, I have to do all the photographs, sort of measuring of every vase, it's going to take quite a few days, but I have to get it all ready to go on to my Etsy shop. Um, but um, I'm going to bring the live stream forward. I've written it down here so I don't get it wrong on video. Um, I'm planning to have it on Friday the 19th of July. I'll put it up here at 6pm UK time. And then it will go on whatever, a couple of hours, three hours. We don't know. We don't care. Um, but uh, during that time as well, at some point on the live stream, I will uh, write down the name of the winner of the name of the art gallery because it all sort of goes together. Um, so I'll do that at the same time uh, while we're on live stream. Um, and I'll, I'll uh, hopefully I'll mention it on another video as well, the winner of, of the gallery uh, name just in case that person isn't able to come on and doesn't see the live stream. And lots of people don't often sit and watch the live stream back. So I will we'll do the name of the winner on another video as well, and they will probably watch that video. So one way or the other, whoever it's going to be, I don't know yet, but whoever it will be, they will uh, get to know. And they will be able to go into my Etsy shop and then do a screenshot of one of the vases that they like, email it to me, and I'll take it off Etsy get their address and I'll just ship it to them wherever they live in the world. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter where. Um, so there's that. Um, what I do want to show you just quickly is um, I may, I mentioned to you that Martine, um, sorry, not Martine. I was emailing Martine last night in bed. We've got a, 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 I sent her the table of John Boy's and my urns. So she's talking about those. So they're coming, they're almost um, close to being ready, which is so exciting. Um, but Charlie, um, I showed you on email, that does, on uh, YouTube, that does all the magical um, fairy stuff. Uh, we, when she starts YouTube at some point, we're thinking of doing a collaboration. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking of maybe doing a, a, like a shadow box, room box, shadow box of, maybe something mystical with bits that she sent me. But just to, if I do that, just to add to it, I was thinking ahead and I made, I'll show you, I made three um, toadstools. Um, I made them all the same uh, glaze underneath. So all the underneath of them are the same glaze, but on the top, I've done them all different colors on top. Three of them, this one and this one. I love them all. I 
think I like this one best, this sort of fiery red. But anyway, that's just to show you. Um, I'm, these have turned out really well. I'm going to make more of these um, probably and put them in my Etsy shop for sale. If anyone likes to comment and say they would like that, um, if not, then uh, maybe I won't bother, but we'll see. And also this one, um, this is a in in a house in a in a, in a real house it would be a nice big bowl um, shape, um, but this one here, I'll just show you. That's the outside. It's black with all these blooms of bread coming out on it. It's very organic, and it looks very torn on the top. And it's uh, as I as I was doing the vase with the, with the tool, I sort of go quickly at the last minute and it just it just rips all the, the top and twists it all so it's all sort of um, contorted looking um, but I've done it this bright red inside I mean look at the bits coming off here um, they won't break uh, easily it's all um, they're ceramic now and um, but that I did and it's purposely going to be one of the art pieces on a pedestal or something in the art gallery yes I thought what a fantastic, just a modern, a nice large modern bowl to go in someone's house. As I said, maybe in, hopefully in time, I will have the pieces in the art gallery for sale on my Etsy shop and then people can own them. Um, and they're buying their own miniature pieces of art. Not for tens of thousands of pounds or dollars, but 20 or 30 pound or something, which is quite cheap for the artwork. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm going to get all these, I think there's 50 something, 50, 57 vases altogether. Um, if I've got time between now and then, I may do some more. We'll see um, if I've got the time. Um, but yes, I'll do the live stream and we'll talk about them and I'll show you them all uh, one at a time and up close and um, people can have a good look at them then and comment on them and also on the live stream we can get together and what I loved last time which some people mentioned was where the, the writing uh, the comments are coming down the side you were starting to talk to each other because you 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 see each other's comments on my YouTube channel and that was what makes it real family that's the bit I love best what well, sounds like MASH the movie we've got, we've got a, a helicopter coming over I don't know how loud this is on camera, but I think it's going over the house. They're after me, guys. <laughs> it's the Coast Guard police coming across the beach <laughs> looking for me. <laughs> they want my vases. They're not getting them. Anyway, um, thank you again so much. I have probably gone on too long for you. Um, hopefully some of you will have really enjoyed the chat. Um, but yes, and, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the comments you're sending. And there's lots of them now, and I will try and um, do, do a few here and there in between quiet moments of working. Well, I'm carrying on working, but just I'll, you know what I mean. So anyway, speak to you very soon. I, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. Um, I'm doing so, much, so many things at the moment, but um, hopefully it will come on as soon as possible. And hope you enjoyed this video and can't wait for you to, to send some comments on what you've on what you've seen on this video. Take care everybody, really, and please if you can stay in good health and speak to you again soon. Bye.